with Jackie. Okay, it is dupe week. I'm so excited um, that we did themes for our week because it's like kept us from just grabbing our favorite stuff for our makeup bag every time. So make sure that you check out Sarah's as well um, for her week and we will start off. Um, we'll start with primer. <laughs> Excuse the hair. This is what's happening today. It's pouring. Nothing's happening today. That's what's happening. Nothing. Um, so I'm going to do the left side of my face high end and the right side drugstore and hopefully I'll remember that the whole time. Okay, so this is the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. This is a silicone-based primer. Um, what did I say? Left, left side, high end. Um, this is just, you know, a nice basic primer um, for the 1.7 ounce size of this. It runs about $60.00. So it's a little pricey and this is the dupe for it. This is the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. You can find this in the women's section of your drugstore. It is about $5 for the same amount that you would get from $60 for Smashbox and it is the same dimethicone based, silicone based um, primer. So essentially the same darn thing. Okay, so that's that. Next, I'm going to be using the Mary Kay um, Time Wise versus my L'Oreal True Match. So the only thing is, let's hope these match shade wides, shade wides, shade wise. And I'm going to be using my Real Beauty Blender on this side. Um, so what's been happening? First of all, it's been raining, like non-stop here. Okay, like every morning it's raining. I just got all this foundation on my leg, right on my jeans. You know, it couldn't have fallen on the, you know, washcloth that I have on my lap. No. <sighs> Story of my life. Um, so, whatever. It's been raining here, like, nonstop. I should have probably put some under eye concealer first. Oh, well. Um, and it's gross. I thought it had dog hair on it. It probably did have dog hair on it, and now I just probably stuck it to my face because I saw it out of my peripheral as I went to raise it up. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, the weather has been gross, but an awesome news. We go to Chicago this weekend, a little YouTube girls group, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, how long have you been out of focus for? Um, okay, so that was in the shade, um, beige six, and now this is sun beige, and this is in the shade W6 for the L'Oreal True Match, which I'm going to be using on my other face, my other face, because <laughs> I have two, um, I'm two-faced, um, I'm going to be using this on this side, and then I'm going to be using the Beauty Blender dupe that I got at TJ Maxx, and it's, the brand is called Revive. And the Revive one is a little bit um, more dense than the Beauty Blender. And obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit um, bigger, like especially this side, which I quite like because, you know, you do more your face with it. Okay, so that was actually a pretty decent match foundation-wise. And honestly, I find that these foundations are very similar. Um, it gives you like a decent, you know, medium coverage. I'm just going over here, some um, blemishes again. But it gives you decent coverage, and I feel like it's really long-lasting. And it's pretty much very similar to each other. Um, okay, so on my left eye, I'm going to be using um, a race paste. This is the medium um, shade. This is by Benefit. And this was just the, um, you know, little baby sample size that you can get at the front of the Ulta kiosk. Um, Benefit's also really good about selling their little sample things on their website as well. So it's just a great way to try something out, you know, spending $10 instead of 30. And quite honestly, these little things, I'm way more apt to 
you know, go through than, you know, the bigger ones. I'm not going to use up like an entire full size one probably. Um, and now this is by Pixie. This is their correction concentrate in the shade brightening peach. Pixie products are sold at Target. Um, so these are both like peachy undertone corrective type under eye dealies. Uh, nothing but the best here. So that's what we're looking like here. It looks like the pixie one dries to a little more of a matte finish um, right off the bat. So that's that. <sighs> What's next? Let's do some powder. Um, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, HD powder. Am I doing the right side of my face still? Yes. Two things, right? Have we done right so far? Okay. <coughs> Where's my brush? There it is. Um, so this is just the HD powder by e.l.f. It's just a, like a super fine translucent powder. I'm sure you can see it floating through the air right now. And that's that. Now I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm wiping my brush off in between doing all this so I can get like a good, um, you know, the best sort of comparison for you. Um, then I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD powder that's about 10 times the price of the e.l.f. one. I'm just going to put it in the e.l.f. Um, cap just so I can have room to dust it around. Yeah, so I'm so excited about Chicago. It's supposed to be pretty warm this weekend actually there, so that'll be nice. I don't have to worry about packing any bulky coats or anything. So as you can see, we're pretty much the same on both sides. Where are you tops for everything? Um, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. All right, so we're gonna do um, the Hula bronzer on the left side for my contour. Now, this is a little sample size, and this is my favorite bronzer like of all times, but I never take it with me on vacation because the packaging is too, too big. So literally, I cut the entire thing apart the other day just so it would be smaller. It was like this fat before. So I had to redo that. Oh, um, so yeah, I have not cheated on my no buy, which I'm very proud of. We are almost through it. Um, of course on Friday, I will be in Chicago with my girlfriends and then the no buy has stopped. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, Sometimes my contour turns out terrible. <sighs> All right, so we're doing that versus the Milani um, Multitasking Face Powder in the shade Medium Tan. They're almost the exact same shade and everything. So that's good. Um, hush puppy. So we started our garden again. Why do my... <laughs> My contour looks like two different people did it. One person did it over here and a different person did it over there. Well, then let's just fix that. Well, ah, back in the hula. Um, so apparently some days I can't contour. Today is one of those days. Let's just move along because nobody needs to just watch me make a freaking disaster of myself all morning. Although I'm sure it's fun for you. All right, this is the NARS Dolce Vita blush. I love this blush. It is $30 though, however. And I have a $6 dupe for it. Now that's nice puppies. Whoever, want, whoever you want to bark at, just don't worry. I'm not in the middle of filming or anything. The neighbor's dog escaped yesterday. They have a little Yorkie, and it was like running amok in the front across the yard yesterday, and my dogs were freaking out about it. Um, this is the Coastal Scents um, blush in the shade 
beautiful. So as you can see, they're pretty much the same color. Why do I look so scary today? Let's fix them both with the elf brush. Um, okay. Highlight, highlight time. Um, this is my sad little broken elf highlighter in Moonlit Pearl. I can't mess with it too much because it's broken. It's broken. And I couldn't buy a no new one because clearly I'm on a no buy. So, <sighs> trying to do the right thing, except it's picking up like chunks of it in my brush. <sighs> Not the prettiest. All right. And on the other side, I'm going to do the Becca Shimmering, whatever the heck this is called, Shimmering Skin Perfecta in Moonstone. Okay. Okay. Um, primer. I'm going to use on my left eye the Makeup Forever Eye Primer, and then the e.l.f. one on my right eye. Um, so yeah. Good morning, says the roosters. Do you know that roosters crow, like, all the frickin' time? Like, not just in the morning. They crow, like, whenever their little heart desires, or whenever they hear a noise, or whenever they feel like they should crow, or whenever they hear another rooster crow, and then when you have seven roosters, that just goes on for quite some time. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. Um, okay, yay for my eyes. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna be doing, uh, a subscriber asked me to do this a while ago, and I thought this was like the perfect time to do it. I'm gonna be d doing the naked three on one eye and the revealed two on the other eye. So, yeah. All right, first I'm going to go into the shade Burnout in the Naked 3. I'm sure I should probably, like, show you this or somebody's going to, like, read me for, like, cheating. I can see it now. I don't believe that you really used both palettes, so let's show you when I'm dipping my brush in. <laughs> uh, it's sad, but people totally will. And if you're another YouTuber watching me, you know that people will. And if you're one of those people, you're like, oh, I can't do it now. Sorry. <laughs> Wiping the brush off, and we're gonna go into this fourth shade, um, or it's fifth shade over is the dupe for Limit in here. Oh. Meep, 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 meep. Um, yeah, so. No, people are freaking jerks when it comes to comments sometimes. People, I just don't think, think that you're like, I just dropped the Naked 3 palette. What was that face? Um, yeah, no, people don't think you're real people. People don't think you're real people, so they think you can, they can treat you like crap. I've got to find the dupe for trick real quick. I used to have these all written down. That's not it. That's it. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put Trick in my inner corner. Um, <laughs> no, people think they can say whatever they want to you sometimes. Which is cute. Like, never. Because <laughs> it's never people that watch you on a like regular basis, and they always have like nonsense to talk to you about. That's the Trick in here. Um, so yeah, pretty much it's like whatever, but honestly, you can't let, like, people are going to be mean regardless. Somebody is always going to have some sort of negative opinion about you and you just can't even let it bother you because it will consume your life if you do. 
Um, okie doke. I'm going to go into factory now. This shade right there. Um, now, there's always going to be somebody talking crap about you. Always. People always are going to be judgmental. And you just have to be okay enough with yourself to be like, you know what? Bye, Felicia. But thanks for your opinion that I didn't ask for. My negative opinions are mostly about my singing. The fact that I sing through my videos. It's like, if that's the biggest problem in your day is the fact that I annoy you with singing, then welcome to your wonderful life. Um, this is the shade that's the factory dupe in there. Meep, meep, meep. Yeah, Sarah and I were just talking this morning. We're like, whatever happened to if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. It's like, oh, that went by the wayside when, like, people stopped holding, like, doors for you and stopped using grammar in sentences. <laughs> all those things are gone. Okay, so underneath I'm going to use um, the shade Strange. Right here, um, I'm going to take some sort of brush. Some sort of brush. I need to wash my brushes really bad. And I'm just going to put this underneath right here. Um, yeah. No. So just be, just know the fact that people are like always going to be punks. This is it right there and you can't change people you can't change it you can only change the way you react to it and that really gives you all the control because ooh, not in control of my palettes but i'm in control of my emotions <laughs> oh christ okay let's do the rest of this um on my left eye i'm going to be using um the kat von d trooper liner i showed you that for like 12 seconds all right i'm gonna try to do this to you but i've got to use this for my viewfinder so you guys can see this is really Okay, I'm in front of a light right here too, so this is like blinding me. Um, then I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner, or eye pen, whatever this eyeliner pen on this one. You know like the, the like spots you get in front of your face from staring at the sun? That's what I have. Oh well, those are practically even. <laughs> Welcome to my channel where practically perfect is freaking good enough. Um, okay, on my left eye, I'm going to be using the Mally Volumize on Mascara. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting close to that nonsense again. I can't. I'm going to put some right here. Uh, uh, I'm going to put some right there. Right underneath. One day, one day I'll be able to apply mascara without getting it all over my face, and then I will truly be a professional. Um, I'm using it versus the Almay One Coat Triple Effect. On oh, the um, I'm trying to think of what else exciting is going on in my life. Oh my god, my shrinking stuff from Sammy Dress finally shipped out. It was like a miracle of science, and who knows really when it'll get here. Um, oh, come on, uh, come on. 
that's one coat of this. Um, yeah, I almost fell over when I got the email that it had shipped out. Well, and then I go to like the tracking thing and it just says that the shipment information has been sent. So, I don't even think that technically means that it's really been shipped out yet. Is that sad? Oh well. <laughs> you know, my only thing is, is that at least it's not going to be cold in Chicago, so I really don't have to worry about like all the outerwear that I had ordered from this place. I have mascara all over my face. Um, so that's two kids of each of that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Um, where's my eyebrow brush? I need a personal assistant. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using on my right eye this e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit by e.l.f. Of course, obviously. Um, and I haven't been able to, like, do my eyebrows well either, I feel like. Which you'll probably agree after I'm done with my eyebrows. They've been coming out, like, way more crooked than normal. Sorry, I can't talk to you right now. <sighs> I can't talk to you right now. I'm busy. All right, and we're going to use on the other side um, the Benefit Browsings Eyebrow Kit. It's been well loved. <laughs> it's a little used. These are like the same. They are like the same. Oh, so let's see, is anything else going on in my entire life? No. Dear eyebrows, thank you for not working this entire week. Love my face. Every day I've left the house today, it's like, oh, look at that girl. It looks like she tried to do her eyebrows for the first time. How cute. How cute is she? Put her away now. Go put her down. Are they even enough? If they're even enough, I'm good with that. Okie doke. Now I'm up. We're going to be using the Jordana Cabaret that I used last week versus the MAC Diva. All right, I'm going to put one more coat of the Cabaret on just to deepen it up. All 
All right, so that is the look. Um, there we go. Half drugstore, half high end. I can't tell the difference, quite honestly, and I think this is a really good, like, physical representation of, you know, I mean, the difference in, like, 200 products, you know, $200 worth of products versus, you know, $20 worth of products. I mean, let's be real. So, you guys have a great day. I hope you guys like this. Go check out Sarah's channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.